last session we have discussed about uh, table and list and after completing this table and list we will go for html form okay let's go and discuss what is html form let's show you one example if in your site you can see here the one of the link called quick contact us right here you can see the name email phone number code training message and a button is there now the question how you can develop this kind of form in html to develop this kind of form in html you need certain element or certain tag this entire section this entire name email phone number course and all these things this entire section we are called as html form means using html form you can design this kind of form designing now the question why this form design is required the the things will be when you want to develop a web application or a website anything in that case you need data from the user example the example is suppose you want to create a application where you need the username password of a user to log in or you need the page where user need to be sign up okay to develop this kind of a screen then you need html form let me draw something giving one example suppose you want to develop a develop one form called suppose login form and sign register form let me go and design one register form if you go design a register form you have a form you need a text box to enter the user name right you need to enter the user name for full name your full name same way you want to add suppose uh, then suppose gender and you know gender will be drop down where user need to be select from the drop down it's my male female and other it should be drop down then suppose your address address you're going to enter the multiple line we need a multiple line text box then one button called submit i'm giving one just a simple example this is on the submit okay let me first tell you what are the controls is exist in html you can see that here that if you are going to enter single line data okay the first concept is what is single line data i will show you here if you are entering data and that data is always going single line means not if you enter no multi line or only single line we called as single line text box okay suppose you want to design a form where you want to accept the user name suppose uh, <clears throat> and user phone number etc then you require a single line text box because name cannot be multi line right in that case you require single line text box so single line text box how to add a single line text box that syntax i am going to tell you but just remember we have a control the control is single line text box let me add one in the controls you have to know the first you have to know the what is html controls first control is single line text box single line text box means user will enter only one line text like this name 
you cannot enter multiple line okay then we call as a single line text box or in a simple case text box single line text box the another name is simple text box okay the first control is single line text box let's go and create one single line text box you have to know that how to create a single line text box let me create one html file okay as you know we have to write this syntax to create any of the html we have one file called form let's go and create one single line text box or like this one okay to add a single line text box you have a certain syntax for that what is syntax you have to add the tag called input as you are adding h1 or previously you uh, like long like um, UL, OL, table, the same thing. If you want to add any text box, you have to write the tag called input. In input, then your you have to mention what is what are the type of input. Then there is a attribute called type. In type, you have to mention the type as text and end it. I will go to explain this one let's you learn input type text in previous code you learn right uh, ol type i same way just relate this one input type text means it will convert it will it will going to display a text box in your screen got it right and this will be by default a single line text box okay now we got it how to going to add a single line text box what is the use of a single line text box if you want to receive any data from the user in one line then you require single line text box to add a single line text box you have to write input type equal to text so automatically browser will going to display this one as a text box now now here i can enter anything right i can enter numeric alphanumeric anything i go i can enter here right now you know that suppose you want to develop one application in application you want to accept only Max, suppose you are developing one application where you are accepting the name max to max is 10 character or 20 character just example means the question is here how you can restrict a size of a text box example suppose i am entering 1 to 9 here right but you are developing one application in that application the requirement will be user max to max enter six character they cannot enter more than that okay now the question how you can restrict to the user to enter that that much character suppose you restrict for six user only going to enter six character not more than this if you're going to enter this text box is not going to allow you to enter the data okay to restrict the text box for entering the character length this is the character length you have to just a second you have to add the another attribute called max length max length if you fix as 6 if i save it and refresh 
if i go and enter one two three four five six seven you can see that i am pressing any keys is not entering anything got it means if you want to restrict the user for a specific character length then you have to add a attribute called max length let me add it here what is the use of max length the property max length the max length means Define the limit of the text box character. Hence, max length attribute will define the length of the characters. Okay, this is called max length. The type one, this type type will define the type of the controls what are two attribute one is type one is max length type means if you type as a text then it will display as a text box and if you are defining max length as whatever you will define here it will it will give you that much character limit to enter the data clear okay validation okay, okay validation that i'll do validation we cannot do validation in html we will do validation using the javascript when you go to javascript that time only i will explain about validation okay don't worry people please do it interactive at least say yes or no if you understand okay because i don't know you people are listening or not just i want to know you got the two two attribute here a input one is text another one is max length one is type another is max length type or define the type of the control max length is the define the length of the character and length of length of the control this is a basic basic of a html uh, a control let's go add another character uh, another attribute Suppose you want to display, you want to display a default value, default value in this text box. Default value mean, means if suppose you want to dis display default value one two three, means if someone open this site, they can able to see the value of the control default value. If you want to display the value, you want to add a value attribute here. Because the value attribute you can add anything. Suppose I will add hello. I save it refresh you can see that by default whatever hello whatever value you define for this it displaying this text box means what is the use of uh, this va value display the default text or data in text box got it suppose you want to display any kind of default value or default data to a text box then you have to be you have to assign the value property clear okay value means the value property means uh, the the value property or attribute whatever you can say you can say attribute or property whatever this property is used to display a default data or default text whatever you mention here inside the text box like if I add hello or if I add, add anything here, it is going to display it there. Okay. Now, now let's go for next one. The next one is read only. Okay. Guys, I, I let you know this form is the basic of a html because in future if you are writing in programming in angular react or any java programming or anything then if you want to send any value from your front end to back end or anything then you need to design your form because user only know the forms right suppose you are doing login you are doing registration or you are doing entering some employee information you have to design a form right in that form you have to know each and every attribute meaning because this is the very basic requirement if you don't know 
what is the use of read only what is the use of max then the problem will be you cannot validate a form for that you have a, if you have any doubt in any of the con, any of the attribute just ask me okay because i want to just clear each and every attribute meaning how to discuss about a value let's go for read only read only means <clears throat> you want to restrict the user to not change the value of this control just example you set hello as a default value but what you want user no need to change anything here for that you have to add attribute called read only okay. you can add read only equal to read only the right read only equal to read only if i refresh it you can see that i, I am not able to just a second I, if i'm going to type anything it's not doing anything you can see that i cannot change anything means if you want to fix a value and don't give the user to enter any value further for the specific text box then you want to add the property called read only read only means you can copy it means you can select you can copy it okay means read only you can only user able to read it not to write okay it's called read only what is the definition of a read only it's enable it's disable the text box to enter any value or data clear read only means if you set any value is if you set or not set that it doesn't matter but i'm just saying where to use read only just imagine you are you are uh, creating a registration form and after you entering some uh, suppose suppose you want to display some data and from api you just passing some data after that you want to make sure that this two fields not user no need to be edit to not edit any field then you have to add the read only attribute read only means you are restricting the user to not to enter any value to a text box okay this is called read only okay this is called read only now another one is called disabled now i know you're going to ask the question let me add the disable attribute let me remove this read only okay i'll keep it another side because i'm writing each and everyone uh, one on a uh, line disabled disabled let me add called disable equal to disable sorry it's disabled okay did you see any difference between read only and disabled let me copy this one and paste it uh, on another places and hello one hello two and it is read only and this one disable I'll, I'll i just want to show you the difference you can see that in a read this, this one is read only okay this one is disable in read only if you enter anything you like uh, you cannot enter but disable also same thing you cannot enter anything but you can see the text box to format okay here you can copy it here also you can copy it the things will be here if you are going to add the read only and disable if you if anyone knows the difference between read one read one and disable means when actually you are sending the data from this client side to server side okay just just listen all these things when you are sending the data from client side to server if any control control means i'm talking about these test boxes or anything any control marked as disable that control value will not go to server means i'll i'll repeat it again if you mark any field as disable and submit the form and you want to access this form data 
in your Java application, in your .NET application, any of the application, if you want to access the data, then you cannot access. But whereas, if you mark a field as a read only, then you can access the data. Anyone, any doubt? I just want to clear all these things. Disable means you will not get any difference here because it's just, you, you, you cannot enter here. Disable also you cannot enter here. But the difference is, disable means the data, if you want to send from client side to server side, that time, this data cannot go to server. Whereas, if you mark the field as a read only, then the data will go to the server. Disable means, already you know that, right? Disable means it's completely disabled. It's just a placeholder to display the data. Right? This is the basic difference between a read only and disable. There is no other difference. Read only, you can see as a normal text box, but user cannot enter anything. But disable, you can see that this text box getting a little bit gray. Okay. For that, there is, a, there is a disable attribute and the read only attribute. Let me write the same node here. Disable means same as read only, but when user submit the form or send or send the HTML, send the form data to server, disabled controls value will ignore. This is totally client side, client and server side concept because form means you have to know that what is why form is required. Disable is same as read only means it is whatever property in read only you will get the same read property but when you just submit the form or send the form to server then form data to server then disable controls value will be ignored means in server you will not going to find this control value this is not going to the server. This is the basic difference between read only and disable. Okay, clear? But as of now, if you want to add any kind of line break, you just add a break syntax here. BR. BR stands for break. Okay. Let's you, you understand this one, two, three, four, five attributes. These are the attributes for a control. Let's discuss other attributes also. What are the attributes? Let me remove all these things. As I told just before I explained about these two text box like uh, if you submit to the form to the server then in disable you cannot get this control a read only you can get this control value. Now there is a question. Suppose just imagine in this form, I am giving one example of in this form, you can see I have four or five, uh, six control I have, right? Name, email, phone number, all these things. When I submit this form, then in server, how you know that this is the name text box value, this is the email value, this is a phone number value, this is a course value. In server, how you know that which text box value you want to access, okay? For that, there is an attribute called name attribute. You have to remember this name attribute. Name attribute means the name of the control. Means whenever you define a name control and when you post the value to the server, then the server will access this value of this control by this name. I am giving another time. You see that we have this much controls. And when you submit, we have to save this data, right? You have to save somewhere, we want to do something, right? For that, we need this name, email, phone number, all these things. In server, how the server knows that? What is the name value? What is the email value? What is the phone number value? For that, in our HTML, we have to define a name attribute. Whatever name attribute you will define here, the attribute means the, the, the property, means Whatever name attribute or name property you define here, in server, the HTML is going to give you same name and value. Example, if you define this one as name, 
when you submit the value in server you will get name as hello2 okay name equal to hello2 means the name whatever you will give it here it can give any name suppose full name and when you submit the form in server you will get like this name full name equal to whatever you will going to enter here it will going to display means the name attribute means if you want to identify if you want to identically define the name of the control for server side then you will go for name attribute this name attribute i am clearly saying the server side name as we discussed in initial days we have two type of structure we have two type of programming one is server side another one is client side you know that server side means i think you know java i think it's a java php .net suppose .net core etc etc okay these are the server side programming server side programming means the program or this any programming languages which is run in a server we call it a server side programming a programming which is run in top of a a client side we can call it client side browser client side application client side programming language like javascript for that each and every control why control have this attribute because finally whatever data you are entering here that data should go to a server right for that reason each and every control contain two basic attribute one is name attribute another one is id attribute this is name and id name attribute is used for server side programming whereas id attribute used for client side programming someone asked me the validation if you want to do any kind of validation in javascript or in client side why client side means because my program is going to run in browser browser only right if you want to access this text box means this text box in your browser or in your uh, client machine then you have to use the javascript concept in javascript you want to access this control you need the id attribute but whereas if you want to access this control means this control in server side then you have to use the name attribute people clear name attribute means you want to access this control value in server side id attribute means you want to going to access this server value you are going to access this control in client side okay for that reason each and every control in html it may be text box it may be drop down it may be text area radio button check box anything any control in in our form html form has minimum these two id two attribute one is name another one is id name for server side id for client side you have to remember all these things in future if you are going to develop this kind of form and someone going to submit it you can see that you are going to display this round round uh, like this uh, red circle right how this is happening using this id attribute because if i go and right click here you can see that this is also content one of the id attribute just a second you can see it id, ID attribute is there id attribute name attribute this name attribute for server this id attribute for client clear the, you people have to know this you may be a web developer you may be a web designer anything but you have to know that whenever you are designing any form in html you have this basic logic you have to know what is name attribute what is an id attribute let me repeat it again another time name for server side id for client side means whenever you want to write any kind of javascript programming for your forms that time you require the id control whenever you want to access this control value in server then you require this name attribute okay the name attribute and the id attribute all you you can make it same or you can make it difference there is no hard and fast rule for that but it is always be better idea to keep the name and id will be same <clears throat> okay clear 
let me write this id and name attribute concept what is this id and name is required the name attribute the name attribute this attribute is used to access in server side I mean, this is the name of the control suppose same way i have two text box here then how you know that which text box stands for which one right this is the what is what this is the what is because you know you design but how the program know that what is this used for this text box and this text box for that only we have a concept called name and id but you can define this name as suppose um, name one and name two always remember that this name of and this id always be unique for a form <clears throat> means you have to always remember that if you de design the same text box two times or three times always remember this name and id always be unique not be same like you, you you're not going to define this same name and same one then what will happen when you post the data always the last control value is going to the server it's not the first control because this name is defined two times whatever the last one is going to take by the server or take by the this one the javascript also for that reason always you remember the name attribute and the id attribute always be unique for all the forms okay this is the basic rule of a designing a html form you got it then name the attribute used to access in server side the id this is used to access in, in client clients side. this is the basic thing you have to know guys you may be de developer designer i don't know in future what line you are going but you have just remember that in real world programming if you are designing any of the because you need a screen where you need to enter the data right the data entry part you have to do in using of this html form for this form you have to know the basic concept of the attribute what is the attribute why the attribute is required what is the name attribute what is the id attribute you have to know all these things okay now i hope you already got the idea about name and id right this is the basic attribute for all the controls means in html all the controls has this name and id attribute and always remember this name and id attribute should be unique and i mean it's always be unique in your form you have to mark these two i have defined two text box always remember these two should be unique okay the basic principle of define a input define a any of the control okay but you have two text box to differentiate two text box we have uh, this name and id attribute let me do another kind of attribute how it's working let me remove everything this name uh, id i have to remove everything max length let me remove let me add one other attribute called placeholder placeholder suppose enter your name using this name i think you already know the what is placeholder if i save it and refresh you can see in text box if it's going to display you the user enter your name means the placeholder means placeholder and a value don't be confused value means it's a actual value okay value of the control placeholder means if user not entering anything and this control is blank blank you got it right it's not it does not have any data then if you want to display any kind of message to the user then you have to use the concept called placeholder placeholder means in a text box suppose just enter your full name combination of a first and last name just example you have to display same kind of structure here then you have to use placeholder placeholder means just a extra information about a control okay. got it placeholder you can enter anything here okay it's up to you placeholder means just notify to the user okay what is the text box for okay what is the use of this text box this is text box for name same way you want to add another text box 
सपोज एंटर योर लास्ट नेम जस्ट एग्जाम्पल सपोज एंटर योर ईमेल हियर मीन यूजर नो दके दिस टेक्स बॉक्स इज यूज फॉर एंटर द मेल एनी हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू एड द लेवल टॉप ऑफ दैट दैट गोइंग टू आई एम गोइंग देयर बट जस्ट इमेजिन इफ यू आर टू डिस्प्ले एनी स्टार्टिक टेक्स्ट इन इन साइड ए टेक्स बॉक्स देन यू हैव टू यूज ए प्लेस होल्डर Text holder means it's a static text for a text box. Clear? Let me let me note it down. What is the use of place holder? To display any display static or any information about the text box. If you want to display any information about a text box, means what is the use of this text box? Then you have to use the concept called placeholder. Okay. And same as I told you, there is another called a title attribute. I explain this title attribute in link class. Suppose in title means if I mouse over here, I need to display any tool tips, right? It's called tool tips. Yes, sir. Then suppose uh, I can also add add here. Uh, suppose Um, don't enter any special character. The mouse over. Saying don't enter any special character. This title, this title one is common for all the con all the elements in HTML. Means if you going to add title attribute to any of the any of the elements in HTML, if you mouse over, it's going to display the tool tips. This is the common for all things, but the the basic one you have to know that the type, the max length, the value one, read only, disable, name and ID. Placeholder is only for text area. Okay, this is not for other. This is for text box and text area. Where user are going to enter any value, that are only we have to use the placeholder because you are going to get some value from the user. Okay. This is the basic attribute of a input, but in different different control, we have different different type of attribute. We are going to in each and every control we are going to discuss. Okay, so what we discuss it here? The first one is input type text. Means if you want to design a single line text box, then you have to go for input type text. Okay. as you told like suppose i want to define a label like suppose why this text box is required for that we have a tag called label label start label end and you want to hear the text suppose like name okay alignment people forget about the alignment the alignment i'll go for in this one but just imagine if you want to add any kind of any kind of in top of text box or any control if you want to add any kind of leveling then you have to use the tag or level this is optional you can define anything instead of a level you can go for span also you can go for anything also it's up to you but as a practice in each and every form if you want to define any kind of label means top of the text box or top of the dado button anything then you have to design the you have to add the Label uh, tag. Okay, this is just a like a recommendation tab. Otherwise, you can use anything. It's up to you. Okay. As I explain here, to add a single uh, text box, then uh, you have to use the input type text. Let's go and add different different type of text box. What are the different different type of text box? As you know, we have a text box, single line text box. Next one is password box. Suppose you are designing a form where you need the user email ID and password, okay? Or username or password. How are you going to define a password text box? For that, we have a tag called input type. Same. Instead of text, you have to use the password. All other things are equal. Enter password. Just imagine. same tag if you remember only one for that one i focused on this input only if you know only one input then what will happen your all control you have to four to five control you will learn 
if you learn the text box if you just change type to password if i refresh save it and refresh you can see that i have another one if i enter anything displaying dot 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 okay like if i suppose here enter email id enter your email and same way i have to define here the password okay password type yeah and got it email id and type password if you type anything it will display as a password box simple one only you have to learn the type what are the type first type is text box second type is password okay got it you have to only remember this all these things apart from this whatever attribute i have told you right the value read only disable all these things are for all the inputs there is no changes if you know all the attribute for one control then the same attribute for all the controls okay now the second one is if you want to create a checkbox or radio button what is checkbox or radio button checkbox means suppose uh, someone asks you what is your preference suppose what what you want to eat suppose you want to veg non veg or anything you want to choose right if you have a multiple option to choose then you have to use a checkbox if you have single option to choose suppose single option to choose from list of option then you have to use the radio, radio button right you already know the what is checkbox and radio button right the same way yes, if i if i want to design a checkbox then what i'll do suppose options the simple instead of a type password i want to add that checkbox you can see that how simple it is to remember all these things checkbox remove all this press holder checkbox you can see checkbox is display okay okay you can add it here suppose um page displaying page same way you want to add another checkbox simple so don't go for designing this is not actually recommendation design but i just want to know about this all the control how you are going to use it this is the same suppose non page okay based on this you can define the value here value will be uh page and uh, value will be non page means when someone click page and non page in your code you will get this two value if you have only page you will get by the this whatever value define here you will get the value in the your server side client side but make sure you have to define this id and name attribute this is compulsory for all one okay what you learn it here if you want to design this kind of a checkbox then you have to use the input type equal to checkbox and value it's up to you what we are going to define okay the same way in checkbox what will do you can select multiple but there is an option called suppose gender just example you are designing a form where you are going to accept a gender then you know that the gender user can only select one right the from the list of option list of means male female and others from this three option user only choose only one for that how we are going to designing this one for that instead of type check box you just ready. add ready okay. it's going to do perfect you can suppose like male female Not going to add anything here. So mail. Okay, you can see that name, female, uh, like gender is male, female, and other. If I go and select it, you can see that all are getting selected. Okay, but what I told you, like this because we are using gender because we have to select only one to the list of option right for that what you will do you have to use the attribute called name name suppose equal to gender just example the same name you have to paste all the places if you are going to use the same name in all places what will happen 
the browser will know that okay this 3 radio box comes in inside a one group okay let me refresh it we select name female other you can see that other are working but just example the same option i'll go and paste it here and suppose uh, suppose i want to see that um, another uh, <coughs> preference suppose um, um, highest uh, qualification suppose i want to mark it here um, suppose post graduate suppose graduate and suppose diploma just example huh? now if i select it here and select it here it's not working okay because why it's not working you can see that the same name i'm using there and same name also using here what i told if you are going to use this is the only exception you have to remember if you are using the name attribute to a radio button and if you are adding the same name attribute to the radio button with the same value means name equal to gender 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 then why are you adding the same attribute in all the places these these all are becomes a one group okay always remember if you want to add anything else just add another name attribute and the same same value but in the same form you have a two different different radio button group okay because gender is one group highest qualification another group for that how you're going to differentiate you have to only differentiate by this name suppose i will add the qualification refresh you can see that we click at male female it will be going to work click on post graduate and diploma it is going to work okay okay so you have to remember all these things first one is the the same type type will check box radio button you have to add but in radio button there is an exception called grouping grouping means if you are going to add all these three controls name as one they where it will treat as a one group okay in radio button same way if you also going to add the another bunch of radio button and want to different in different group then you have to add name equal to another group then it will treat as a different one clear it clear right how it's going to work only one is name yes. attribute is required in radio button to go, go giving the grouping one otherwise there is no difference between radio and checkbox right radio is always designed to select only once between the multiple checkbox means from the multiple you can select as you whatever you want okay this is the four one then what i am expecting because today we are already time up then tomorrow we have uh, uh, another four to five control left like text box text area drop down and list box all this left tomorrow we're going to discuss all these things but whatever you will learn today like including text box all these things can anyone design any kind of form please i just want yes, to sir. see like whatever you learn today just try to create one form because as of now i did not give you any task i just want to know if you learn all these things what is the use okay what will do i will copy this one and paste into chat anyone can copy it here no worries guys i okay. think you will are learning and for tomorrow uh, like whatever i have sent this html just create your form on your idea okay just create anything whatever you want to create just create it just create anything whatever you want to do but i just want to know you actually learning how to type the code as of now i am not using any kind of editor as you know because uh, but i why am i writing here because you have to also know the how to write the code because nowadays if you are going for any kind of editor any editor means if you go for vs code or sublime anything automatically the that uh, uh, suggestion will come right the problem will be if you go for suggestion you you have no practice what is the different different type of this attribute are coming for that reason try to open a notepad and type your own code okay typing will be basic required then when you go for css that time only we, we are going to work on vs code vs code will learn that how to write a code how to configure html all these things i will going to learn you that as of now in html 
just go and create a simple form and tomorrow we'll discuss on this okay okay guys thank you for your time i'll see you tomorrow okay